dollars for my car, for my bike, for everything. Just a few more dollars. Dollars. The Rosses just went past as well. It's lowered. Jack it up. Put the adjusters on. Yeah. That's a fuel line, so the fuel tank sits here. Oh, okay. See there? And then new pans. That's all set. Hiya. You're gonna put an accent on Scottish accent, boss. Yeah. Oh, put a Scottish. No, I have to practice it. No, do a Scottish accent. Oh what? Hey, Dad, I, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I I have a a, la, um, a regular latte, a regular cap with sprinkles. Yeah. Um, a bacon and egg roll with red. And uh, a bacon and sausage baguette with red. Okay, so that's seven seventy-five. Yeah, cheers, cheers. Any sugars? Ah, uh, yeah. Three. Uh, yes, please. Three. Tree. Tree. Tree fellas. Sean, Putty, and me. There's your drink. Very good. Yeah, good. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Oh. Look at that. What the heck? Yeah, there. Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah. Cappuccino latte, thanks. I'm gonna have a guess, 650 hectares. Look at that. Autumn, one of the best months of the year. Dump it straight on. Yeah, yeah. What's that a C class? Yeah, hold it. Yeah, nice. Right, just arrived in uh, Scotland, uh, Whitburn, out the back of Burke uh, Bush. Uh, bush kangaroos, no nothing out here, mate. Just sheep and a few pine trees, but good looking place. Probably the best one we've seen, Co Park. Yeah. And uh, probably the cleanest Co Park in the UK, I'd say. We're gonna. Oh, here it is. We're gonna collect a car. Here it is. 
Yeah, yeah. There she is. What timing is that? Whoa. Have a look at her. Oh, she's dented in, dented in a bit. I wonder if we're going to be all right. That wheel needs to go. Hey, the wheel's turned compared to the photo. They must have driven it somewhere. Well, that's a good sign because the both wheels are pointing in the same direction. Well, she's a nice color. How's the timing on that? We're trying uh, to explain. Uh, a great timing. They brought it out real quick. It's just the, the co-part now, I'm not sure if it's a scam, I don't think so, but they bring it out no fuss now. You don't have to, you don't have to trail it away, you can drive away. You can drive them away. Sure, sir. Yeah, it's in here. That me, mate? Oh, thanks, mate. Oh, the seat's a bit poorly. The seat's a bit poorly. They need a bit of a clean. Oh, look how much room. Look at That's the, sick. Look at that. They pulled the ciggy lighter out. Yeah. Oh, I can always get one. It smells a Look bit. Look at that. No mats. There was mats there that pinched them. Left over the key. Maybe the battery's flat. Boss, what they're supposed to have in this door, just like a Rolls Royce, an umbrella. Yeah. An umbrella in here, but it's gone. It's oh missing. my gosh. Six speed. Oh, this doesn't open. No, it's already open, I think, oh. boss. That bad, but we don't know what's happening in there. Yeah, yeah. No, probably not much. Do you want to check? See this? See this scuffing? That might be from here. Do you reckon? So, what it is when this turns, it scuffs on this outside here onto there. So, what we got to do, it's a combination of steel and plastic. Bend it back so it doesn't rub on the tyre so you can drive it home. Yes. That's the main goal at the moment. And the headlight's not working, so we want to drive during the day. Panel works. See, it's plastic spins back. Yeah, plastic, yep. Do you reckon oh, that's improved? Started up, yep. Yeah, sure, video. Oh, there you go. Kick up. Yeah, that's good. Done it all right, has it? No, no, we have to do more. A little bit more. What we have to do, it's caved in so that pushes it. Yeah. But it's only going to go against the, the foggy yeah, here. Function. Here we go. Well, the headlight's no good, so yeah, I'm not yeah. damaging it. Yeah, All right, this is what we call uh, corrective surgery. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And there Ooh. goes the hammer. Oh, the hammer's toast. Oh, my goodness. All right. Boss is just going to take for a spin, make sure all the mechanics are working. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very close. Ooh, okay. Yeah, again, again, do it again. Yeah, it does touch a little bit. I think it is very close, though. It's only about 10 mil. Yeah, that's good. That's okay. Yeah, okay. Right, uh, it was a little bit hectic in the yard there, but it was nice. We got thing, did a bit of clearance on the garden that, and uh, we're in Scotland, and they it's a land of the thousand hills, but I would say this is a land of the thousand cameras on the road. <laughs> well, what a joke, huh? As long as we get back to England, we're safe. Yeah, she's all good. The Rosses just went past as well. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to let Let's go as comfortable as you'd like. Just driving through. We've got a six speed box. So I'm in fifth at the moment. We're doing about 62 miles an hour, and that is just comfortable. And I've got another gear to go. So on the autobahn or whatever, you could probably sit comfortably at 100 miles an hour. Why are you ahead of us? But uh, we're on the way back for the border of England. We're trying to escape Scotland. It's um, 10 to 9, so we're cracking on early for us. The front here is very nice. Ex, ex European traveller, you can tell by that. And this is just squeezed over a bit. Yeah, I'll come and around. You can tell. See how they've got a bit of clearance here. You have clearance on all parts, but here it's squished up a bit. So the headlights push back. Probably the aluminium crash bar is bent in and holding it. Mm. It's probably holding it. 
So the first job is, and it's got a lock nut on there, just as well they gave us the lock nut key. And it'll pull a wheel off, have a jack under there. And then we're gonna um, try and get the guard off. We'll try and get the guard off without pulling that off. It's just clipped in here. Yeah, and then I've just started over here with the vacuuming. Got the shop back in, doing a, doing a bit here. Interior's not too bad, it's just a little bit dusty. So while we're here at just a few dollars headquarters, I'm gonna give you a rundown of what we've got here. So we've got a 2014 Skoda Superb. This one is the Green Line edition down here. So that basically means that it's more economical and better for the environment, all that kind of stuff. But this does about 74 miles to the gallon, the old uh, motorway. And it's done 83,000 miles in this lovely blue color. And so the, the winning bid for this was 1,850 pounds plus fees at Copart charge, and it ended up being 2,260 pounds for this beast. But of course, it's had a bit of an accident and it's got a cat S on it, which means the structure of the car has been damaged, which usually means bigger work. But on this occasion, it's not too bad. I think it's a cat S maybe because this bar here is a little bit bent in. Uh, that could be part of it, but uh, yeah, so. This is one of the most expensive cars we've ever bought from Copart in our McRitchie family history. So, uh, and the done up value of one of these would be about seven to 9,000, but because it's got a Cat S, it might only be worth five to six. Doing, what are you doing, boss? Yeah, I just pulled the wheel off, but it looks like it's stuck on the hub. They, they're a tight fit on the hub, so you have to give them a bash with a soft hammer. Right, okay. Some sort of hammer. Hey, on, guys. So this is just an example of how big this car is. The front seat is as far back as it will go. And look at the, the leg room I've got here uh, already. And, and you're six foot? I'm six foot. Oh, uh, he's six foot. Headroom, and... Headroom. Leg room. Luxurious. Yeah. Hey. Beautiful. <laughs> And then these crews here, yeah, gotta take all those yeah, off torques and in there to get the guard off the inner guard, yeah, inner guard. So then we can get access to behind here. What do you think of this car in terms of if it's a you reckon it's one of the better ones we've, we've got from Copart over the oh, years? No doubt. Um, Sammy, uh, the brother, he uh. I think since he was in the UK, uh, he was in the UK five years, he had 17 cars. Yeah. I think he had at least 17 cars. Yeah. I don't know how many from Copart, but this is the best one without a doubt. This, yeah. is, this is, apart from this little uh, scratch. scratch and this is it. the worst one on paper with the Cat S. A Cat S, I think Cat S is the, Cat S is the way to go. Cat S and Cat M, because then you know why it's at Copart. Yeah. Because it's had an accident, or if it's, if it's you know if been in a little recorded, it could be mechanical. Yeah, it could be up for thousands. Exactly, right. which is what kind of happened to Sammy um, with the Z3, wasn't it? He, right. Cat U was all good on paper, but then uh, it was a head gasket. Head gasket, and that could uh, be up to five thousand yeah. to the engine. And no one wanted to do it. No, nah. hang on, guys. So we're just trying to get the bumper off. I think we've got it, boss. Oh, it's the yes. Last on the other side. On the other side, all this was smashed off. Yeah, so, all so the it wasn't held on. See this? Bent over. That's bent. Yeah. So a lot of stuff's moved over, but you won't see it because we work quick. Yep. And we straighten everything. Cool. So here we've got the uh, actual impact side. It's all taken off. It's amazing how you take off three, three or four panels and it looks like the whole car is bloody wrecked. And then obviously that's that side. We have the bumper bar off, upside down and inside out so, so we can lean on it there see how it changes the shape what we're going to do in the kinked areas in the kinked areas a bit of heat gun this thing if i turn it up it can melt it all see there oh there oh yeah it's coming already it's doing it i, I didn't stand on it more somehow yeah. that one's staying so i'll just get a, a large thing to push on that and and that one has to get towards. Yeah, so I've just come back excursion and boss has got some updates for it. All right, here we have it. This is the front. And what it is, this is like a subframe with the crash bar here. Crash bar has been pushed in a little bit, not excessive. Uh, on this side, it was roughly about 20 mil. I'd say 20 to an inch. And this was, that crumpled. That through there crumpled. Mm. I pulled it out and straightened that. Yep. I just got to knock that down a little bit later. Once it's in position, I'll knock it out. 
I push the air box back home, right? Yeah. And now this one clicks in properly. See? Ah. Ah, the, it's all coming together. The plot thickens. Uh, then I'll screw this headlight back in because yeah. that's a bit uh, how do you do? Right, see that bracket snapped off there. Yeah. So we're going to weld that back on there. Uh, minor. And this bracket here, I reckon it's holding it. That last bit over here. Yeah, to so get that. See the hole in there? That bolt lined up. Yeah. So it's. And then it should it's, be It's square. a hole out at the moment. We've just got to work on that. Okay, cool. So we're getting some good progress here. Just about ready to put it all back together, kind of straighten things out. Soldered some plastic with this other headlight that was snapped. So put that back together. And in terms of, uh, in terms of lucky, got pretty, pretty lucky that the Cat S was only for the crash bar at the front here and not for anything else. Cause if you damage this beam or, or a pillar or anything, that's big, big equipment that you need to fix yeah, it. A break, we don't yeah. have it. So probably going forward, Cat N is the best one. Crash bar, what we should have had is a spare crash bar and everything would line up again. Yeah, but we don't have time. There's no other structure in the front here. It's only the radiator held by the crash bar to this. Yeah. Through that bolt and those ones. Yeah. I'll loosen them all off. Right, uh, we connected it up here. Up here again, very close. Very happy. That's a bit more superficial uh, lining up the bumper bar and the other side is, is well. Yeah. Well with its sole and then now put the guard on yeah so uh, we we did a bit of panel beating on the grass over there to uh yeah. kind of there, and that's a just a bit. bit of white paint of the yeah. the one that he hit and then we're going to assemble all this and throw the uh the bumper bar on yeah and uh it's uh getting closer just hour and a half two hours Done. probably Done. yeah we've got some sarnies going yeah and a cooked teeth so we've got the other headlight in now and we're going to put the bumper on now check in when that's done we've got the bumper on we're just screwing it up there's a couple of bolts near the fog lamp and uh, once we do it then it's going to be all schmick and we'll see what the end result is Oi. have a look at it how about this <laughs> is it solid solid how'd mate. you do that it's actually double cable tied in that hole yeah i found i found a way okay and this one up here remember they were snapped off yeah that's double cable tied as well great and that's here that's firm but i just forgot to put these under here and i just realized that these little clips go up underneath i think i only need one though what happens is that's white paint from another car well once you polish that off should be right. it's going to come out there i'd leave the headlight there i wouldn't have. last few steps going on here we're just putting on the yeah the inner inner wheel arch oh yeah We've done the arch. Uh, the inner arch inner of arch. the left front. It's done. Right. Um, this sits a little high. We, we need that light, boss. This sits a little high. We need to investigate that. Don't know why it's sitting high. Yeah, we'll look at that after we get the wheel on, but now we're just going to put the wheel on. Uh, the wheel's not on. It's on the post. Yeah, see? yeah we're going to put it on, and we'll update you then. Here we are. We've got the uh, wheel back on, and uh, pretty much done now. That was totally caved in. Now we're just going to have a look at this uh, look at this bonnet to see if we can close the gap on this left hand side and then that's it. Thanks for watching the episode. Um, just the closing remarks on the um, if if this um, if Copart was a scam certainly isn't it certainly isn't for 2300 you get yourself uh, an unbelievable car. I just drove it, just went for a test drive. Uh, there was supposed to be a little noise on the brake, but I think it was just sitting in the yard for a bit and, had, and it just set the scuff scuff in the uh, brakes. But it, it goes like a dream, and uh, for such a small amount of money, you get a, a bingo pop car. You don't have to live.